What do you get when you combine the Spider Farmer SF2000 Pro with the Glow 30? Welcome to the Hippie Geeks, let's check out what the par levels are when combining these two lights. I recently set up my grow tent with all of the lights that I am going to be using this cycle, and if you remember the video about it, I will have the SF2000 Pro as the main grow light, and will also have the Glow 30 supplemental lighting bars active as well to help light the sides of the plant and the under canopy. I wanted to see what kind of difference the Glow 30 supplemental lighting will give when it comes to par levels, and so I took some readings at 12 inches, 18 inches, and 24 inches just to see what the differences would be. Spoiler alert, it seems to raise the par levels around 50 par, give or take, which is about what I expected. The supplemental lights are not pointed down towards the par meter, so any of the increase is coming from the sides and then reflecting off of the walls. What that means is that any leaves or flowers that are in the center of the tent will be seeing more light, but that kind of testing is beyond the scope of this video. With all of that said, let's get into the measurements. Here we have the results with the SF2000 Pro hung at 12 inches above the par meter, with the Glow 30 right alongside of it. The SF2000 Pro is turned all the way up for these tests and is pulling 203 watts from the wall. The Glow 30 doesn't have any adjustability and is pulling its full 32 watts from the wall. With the light this close to the floor, the center of the tent is going to see an absolute ton of light with quite a bit of fall off towards the outside of the tent as there are no LEDs directly above that area. However, the extra light from the Glow 30 is helping to pick up the slack out there, which is leveling out the light levels a bit more than with the SF2000 Pro by itself. In the center of the tent, right under the middle of the light, we are seeing 1,069 par, with around 1,000 par in the ring around that, and then between 550 par and 800 par at the outer ring, which are some pretty great results. As we move the light up to 18 inches above the par meter, you can see that things have dropped off quite a bit, but the light levels have really evened out quite a bit across the entire area. When growing in this setup, I will likely have the lights somewhere between a 12 inches hanging height and an 18 inches height like we are seeing here. So the main canopy levels will be somewhere in between these two results. In the center of the tent, we are seeing just under 900 par with between 700 and 800 par in the ring around that. And finally between around 600 and 760 par in the ring around that. You can see how much the light levels have evened out, which is really nice to see. Finally moving the light up to 24 inches above the canopy, and while the outer ring has not dropped off much at all, you can see that we have lost around 150 par in the center of the space, which means that there is really no reason to hang the light at this height as compared to 18 inches, as you are only losing par levels in the center without gaining any more at the edges. The one exception to that would be if you live in a very hot environment, and having the light at 18 inches is just too close to the flowers and you wind up frying the plant, in that case you will need to get the light further away from the flowers to reduce the heat stress on the plant, and having the light at 24 inches away should give you the space you need. For most folks, however, keeping the SF2000 Pro somewhere between 12 and 18 inches is going to be the sweet spot to maximize the amount of light getting to the plant. A big thank you to Spider Farmer for sending all of this gear over for us to take a look at. If you would like to try any of it out for yourself, I will leave links to it all on their website in the description down below. Make sure to use the discount code GEEKS at checkout to get 8% off your entire order.